The puppet show has begun. Completely worthless. Yes. The impudent shall get their due. And was doomed long ago, as expected. Still standing against me? How long do you think you'll last without someone else fighting for you? I will protect you, Dan Dan. Zenki, how if only I'd been there with you. My light would have dazzled the enemy blind. <sighs> it's even lonelier when my joke has no audience. Still here, Apollo? I knew it was you from those spirited knocks, Captain. Are you here to see Zenki as well? She's called everyone to a meeting. I just dropped by to check in on my way over. Are you coming or not? Our wounded Zenki will definitely have nightmares if the sun isn't here to shine on her. I'll be staying here with her tonight. I've already run it by Shu. All right. You and Zinkabo are both reliable, trustworthy teammates. I hope she gets better soon. <laughs> um... Something wrong? No, nothing. That reminds me. It's been a while since the last time you and I saw each other. Uh, since the meeting isn't starting for a while, why don't you stay here and chat with me for a little bit? As long as it's not about your recent glorious feats. 
Keep me clear of those stories. <laughs> Even I know a catch-up is not the occasion to talk about myself. Do you still remember the last mission? The one we did together before you went to Zhu Hung, Captain? Yeah. Things went pretty out of hand from what I remember. Right. At the time, we said we would strike on the secret signal. But one of us forgot it, another got it wrong, and the other didn't wait for it at all. Just a few little hiccups. <laughs> I handled everything in the end, didn't I? Speaking of which, do you remember what the secret signal was, Captain? Why would I? That was ages ago. Just take a guess. <sighs> Stunning... Sunlight? <laughs> well, looks like your memory's better than you thought, Captain. That's only because your secret signals are too lame to forget. All right, I'd better get going to the meeting. Take care. Right. Since you've decided to stay here and watch over Zinkabo, make sure you stay put today. Did the captain seem a little strange today? Stay put. Isn't that just the same as saying something's going to happen out there? She's back again. No. Wait. Come in. Oh, well, aren't you just the picture of a morning glory at dawn, miss? I heard the administrator brought back a damsel in distress. That was you, I presume? <laughs> Sorry to intrude, but... Please, listen to me. Sure, I'm listening. Captain, I'm afraid I must ask you to stop there. Oh? Is this how you greet your captain? I repeat, stop where you are. Come no further. Do you really think you can stop me with just a few pointy sticks? <laughs> of course not. I know I'm no match for you, Captain. That's why I made a few preparations for our little talk. Did someone say something to you? Just a few words of advice that confirmed the suspicions I already had, Captain. I might have a healthy helping of self-regard, but after all the messes you've gotten us out of, not even I'd believe that Zenki and I are reliable, trustworthy teammates. It's been a while. Maybe I'm just feeling a little sentimental. Oh? Then what about the secret signal? Did I get it wrong? That was such a long time ago. I muddled things up, that's it. It's not a matter of misremembering. Now I'm certain that you're not yourself, Captain. Our Captain always charges straight ahead and wipes out our enemies. We've never used any secret signals. I'm not myself. 
<laughs> know your place, traitor. I thought you were still on our side, Apollo. I didn't expect that you'd force my hand like this. I, I knew I wouldn't be able to pull off an ambush like this in one blow. But no matter, I still have the advantage. Let's bathe this battlefield in sunlight. Ha! Oh, my hair. You miss. Shining light, be of my use. Interweaving light, play your melody. <laughs> Pulled over by my charm. Ah, such a dazzling victory. Almost as dazzling as me. There might be nothing glorious about an ambush, but it was all I could come up with to face an opponent like you, Captain. And now, if you'd be so kind as to come with me? Ah, uh, pineapple? Zenki, you're awake! <laughs> I wish I could have a more splendid welcome back party ready for you. But I have something to settle with the captain first. Ah? Pineapple, what are you doing here? You never shut up, do you? And where's the captain you're talking about? Zenki, if you're going to crack jokes, at least read the room first. I see your aim hasn't recovered. It's fine. Just don't miss the next one. game is super realistic. So realistic that I feel kind of guilty. Mm, whatever. I've had it up to here with you, Pineapple. That should make us even. <laughs> the situation's even worse than I thought. Phase 6 of Zonal Information Collection complete. Data parsing, 86% complete. 
Commencing Phase 7 now. We just completed Phase 7, Okuninushi. The datum is recorded in real time, so do pay it a little attention. Oh. Correction. We just completed Phase 7. <sighs> I didn't think I'd go out with you today, Heimdall. Well, we're on this job together for the time being, so I'd appreciate it if you kept your grievances to yourself. That's not what I meant. My emphasis was on out. I drew an upright five of swords today. I had a hunch that something might happen, and really wanted to stay home. Is that so? Esoteric knowledge isn't my area of expertise. What does the five of swords represent? Conflict and disputes. But we haven't argued or anything. I didn't say that we did. Back here again, where Zenkibo and Poseidon were attacked. Bum Bum Zero, get to work. Why do you always design your data collection AGI mechas to look like this? I didn't. I just equipped Bum Bum Zero with a data collection module. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I pretty much got it. Phase 8 is now complete. No Bane energy was detected, so we can rule out a Visbane attack. Agreed. Even a cognizant Visbane would leave some trace behind. All I'm picking up from the site is Divine Grace. Based on the residual quantity adjusted for time decay, we can extrapolate that Poseidon, Zenkibo, and a third modifier were present. After all these days of investigating, you're telling me this was the work of another modifier? Are there any records of something like this in Mimir's files? There have been clashes between modifiers that haven't fully awakened. Targeted assaults like such, however, do not fall under the category. All three of the attacks followed the same MO. Direct, decisive attacks on vital points, followed by the theft of access keys. Not only is the attacker incredibly strong, they're also deeply knowledgeable about modifiers and know how important their access keys are to them. But the divine power detector should have sensed someone when they awakened, especially when they have been this active. Three violent crimes is pretty active. Huh. The attacker can control divine grace, and the divine power detector is a device that scans for modifiers. These two facts, though logically inconsistent, perhaps unsurprisingly constitute a major breakthrough in our investigation. You're assuming... Think about the Spielt case. If AGI mechas can house Bane energy, then why not another form of energy? It's possible that we simply don't understand this technology's full potential yet. Speaking of which, remember that information Odin wanted us to keep hush-hush for now? About that modifier they brought back a couple days ago? Bum Bum Zero? What's the matter? It looks scared. Is something coming this way? of reason. <laughs> Going for the circles of reason first? This must be... Circles of reason! Activate!
Heimdall? What are you doing? Was a close one. Nice work, Bum Bum Three. We're so close to. What do you think you're doing? And what was that back there? Ukuninushi, did you leak Aether Gazer's internal data? Of course not. Why the heck would I leak my own research? Indeed. That's what I thought as well. How could someone who values invention more than her life compromise the stability of their own experimental environment as well as collaborate with an unknown enemy? That would be too stupid. Wait a minute. Who are you talking about? You. The you in my mind. All those inexplicable things I just mentioned are genuinely imprinted into my memory. In my mind, I personally witnessed you leak the data. You also told me yourself that you were leaving Ethergazer. When did I do any of that? That's absurd. I know, you wouldn't do anything like that. That's why I didn't fire at you. Hmm. Then who were the Circles of Reason aiming at just now? <laughs> Reaching a verdict takes time. If there's no error in my judgment and you're uninvolved, then the problem came from... Here. You remember events that didn't happen at all. I think I get it now. This is an important clue. The instantaneous onset of this misperception was likely a product of the attacker's ability. So, it can create false memories. If that's the case, then it's no surprise that they could make quick work of so many modifiers. Huh? Thor? Why are you here? You were covering another search area. <sighs> Had you been here earlier, we might have been able to catch the attacker. Wait a second. Something's not right. Hokuninushi, get away from her! Visits are necessary too. Circle of Reason, activate! My tarot reading shows that you stink and I win. <laughs> Those calculations were off. Vital signs were. Hut! Combat value increased. Huh. 
Those calculations were off. Perfectly accurate. Circle of reason. Activate. Combat back. You may be surprised by what a scientist can do. I don't need your praise. Mission complete. That's two traitors down. Yeah, I'll keep a low profile. One move is all it'll take, and I won't let a single one get away. Whoever's collaborating with the Visbanes, no matter who they are and how many there are, I'll deal with them. I'll wipe Ether Gazer completely off the map if I have to.